Welcome to the Smart Company's instructional video for setting limits on Sumphi and Simu motors using a remote control. There are a variety of remotes for these motors that may look differently but work the same way. These limits will be set using only the remote, so you won't need to access the motor. Once the motor has power, you can begin. The first step is waking up the motor. You do this by pressing the up and down buttons simultaneously until the motor jogs. The jog is a slight movement that you can see. Next, test direction by pushing up or down. If the direction is good, you can hit stop and move on to setting the limits, which we will discuss in a moment. If the motor is moving in the wrong direction, push stop, then hold until the motor jogs again. Now the buttons should move the motor in the right direction. Next, you can set your limits. You can start with the up or down limits. For this video, we will start with the lower or down limit. Push the stop button and down button at the same time, but be sure to push the stop button slightly before the down. When the screen or shutter reaches the desired down point, stop the motor, then hold the stop button until it jogs. The lower limit should now be set. Now for the upper limit. Push stop and up again at the same time, again being sure to hit the stop button slightly before the up button. This will take the shutter or screen up. When the shutter or screen reaches the desired upper stopping point, stop the motor and then hold the stop button until it jogs. Both limits should now be set. Now turn the remote over and with a pen, Hit the program button on the back until the motor jogs one last time. Your limits are now completely set and your remote is programmed. Test by running all the way up and all the way down one last time. Congratulations, you've set the limits on your Sumphi or Simu motor.